I do not wish women to have power over men, but over themselves. Strengthen the female mind by enlarging it, and there will be an end to blind obedience. The more equality there is established among men, the more virtue and happiness will reign in society. Only that education deserves emphatically to be termed cultivation of the mind which teaches young people how to begin to think. Let woman share the rights and she will emulate the virtues of man, for she must grow more perfect when emancipated. When we feel deeply, we reason profoundly. Men, in general, seem to employ their reason to justify prejudices, rather than to root them out. Good habits, imperceptibly fixed, are far preferable to the precepts of reason. No man chooses evil because it's evil. He only mistakes it for happiness, the good he seeks. Taught from infancy that beauty is woman's scepter, the mind shapes itself to the body, and roaming round its gilt cage, only seeks to adorn its prison. Women are systematically degraded by receiving the trivial attentions which men think it manly to pay to the sex, when, in fact, men are insultingly supporting their own superiority. Men and women must be educated, in a great degree, by the opinions and manners of the society they live in. Life cannot be seen by an unmoved spectator. My own sex, I hope, will excuse me, if I treat them like rational creatures, instead of flattering their fascinating graces, and viewing them as if they were in a state of perpetual childhood, unable to stand alone. It is justice, not charity, that is wanting in the world. The mind will ever be unstable that is only prejudices to rest on. I never wanted but your heart that gone, you have nothing more to give. Make women rational creatures, and free citizens, and they will quickly become good wives, that is, if men do not neglect the duties of husbands and fathers. Some women govern their husbands without degrading themselves, because intellect will always govern. When a man seduces a woman, it should, I think, be termed a left-handed marriage. <laughs>